friends, it is Chris. I am still sick. What the hell? Um, but I soldier on. So I try not to talk too, too much about Marjorie Taylor Greene in the space because, well, that's what she wants us to do. But when she does something as colossally stupid and unstrategic as what she did on Wednesday, I feel like I have to. I'm compelled. I have no choice. So here's what she did. For those of you not following, essentially, she's been threatening to try to get rid of Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, for weeks now. And I thought she was backing off of that because she didn't have the votes. You don't have the votes. Hamilton, anyone? Um, but on Wednesday night, she sort of somewhat surprisingly triggered a motion to vacate, which means that if a majority of people vote for it in the House, then the Speaker is out, which is what happened to Kevin McCarthy and why we have Mike Johnson in the first place. Okay. Now, this vote was always going to lose because Democrats had made clear that they were going to vote to keep Johnson. So it didn't make a whole lot of sense in terms of outcomes for Taylor Greene to do this, but she's not focused on that. So what was she trying to do? Let's talk about that first. And then let's talk about what she didn't accomplish. Okay, I think what she was trying to do is she'd kind of backed herself into a corner, right? She had painted herself into a corner. She had done something into a corner. And I think that she felt like she had been so publicly uh, uh, promotional of this idea of getting rid of Mike Johnson that to just back off and all of a sudden be like, mm, actually, I'm not going to do it would look bad for her and bad for her hashtag brand. So she sort of called her own bluff, I suppose, and said, you know what, we're going to hold this because any member under the House rules now, any member can say, I want to try to get rid of the speaker. Let's hold a vote. So what they did is she said, I want to do this. They immediately held the vote and she got smashed. Um, I think it was three something to 40 something, not close, right? I mean, and, and we knew it wasn't going to be close, right? We knew that it wasn't going to be close. She did not, with Democrats saying they were going to save Johnson, there was no way it was going to happen. Um, so I think she did it to try to preserve this reputation that she is more conservative, um, more Trumpy, even though Donald Trump said he didn't want her to do this, she did it anyway. So why was this dumb? Well, you know, at one level, it was never going to happen. Uh, she was never, ever, ever going to get rid of the speaker because, because Democrats had said they would vote for him. The math just wasn't there, and she knew that. So I guess she could argue she did it on principle, but this is where I want to pick a nit. So what exactly is the principle here? I guess if you're Marjorie Taylor Greene, she would say that the principle is that Mike Johnson in his couple months in the job hasn't been conservative enough. She One of the things she laid out in her criticism was that she only wanted bills to come forward that had support of 80% of the House Republican caucus. Okay, here's the thing. Number one, that's never going to work. Uh, no speaker can do that I will in this current situation. I will remind you, Democrats control the Senate. Joe Biden is a Democrat. He is in the White House. You don't get whatever you want with a two-seat Republican majority in the House and no control in the Senate and no control in the White House, okay? It's just not going to happen. Second, this idea that there's some speaker out there more conservative and more effective than Mike Johnson, not going to happen. Mike Johnson is by far the most conservative speaker we've had in decades, maybe centuries, right? It's amazing as conservative as he is that he is the Speaker of the House. There is no way anyone more conservative than him would have any chance at winning. And even if they did, by the way, they'd be able to do nothing different than he does because there's a two-seat majority, Republican majority in the House and Democrats control the Senate and the White House. So what did Marjorie Taylor Greene accomplish? To the extent people are paying attention to this, and look, I don't think the average independent voter or low information voters paying attention to any of this, but to the extent people are paying attention to this, all she did was show that there is disunity within the Republican Party. Again, that the Republican Party still is not a unified force. 
getting closer and closer, six months-ish away from the 2024 election. It is a dumb storyline. It is strategically stupid because there is no better option right now than Mike Johnson. Trust me, there is no one more conservative than Mike Johnson who's going to get elected speaker, and it was never going to work. Again, I'm not sure strategy and smarts is Marjorie Taylor Greene's strong suit, but this, even by her low standards, was remarkably stupid and unstrategic. I mean, remarkably. Okay, hopefully tomorrow my voice will be better. I hope. Have a great rest of your day as always. Uh, Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Spread the word to five friends. Thank you. Take care. See you tomorrow.